Y'all gonna have to excuse me right now. It's the next morning, I'm still driving with a lot of, a lot of emotion right now. What a freaking game, what a freaking night it was. First off, I just wanna give a shout out to Tom Brady and the Patriots for just giving it to us. Just giving it to us like you always do. Giving it to us like, you know, like, like you're the dynasty, the team, the go. Bill Belichick is the coach, you know. The, the game plan, you know. This probably had to be by far one of the greatest games ever. I mean, one of the game, best game I've seen. I've watched. I'm not much just saying it has the Eagles fan, but it was an awesome game. Over almost 12, 1,200 yards in offense. Tom Brady threw for 505 yards. I think it was 505. I know it was 500 yards. Like, who does that? I mean, in the game, I, I can say in the game, but on the ultimate game, on the ultimate stage, on the most watched game event in the world, and he threw for 500 yards like it was nothing. And Nick Foles, I don't remember how much he threw for, but it was between both of them. They were just slinging it like it was nothing. The offense was just shredding each each side of the defense. Just, it was getting shredded apart until the very end, but you got to give it to him, man. And that's exactly why they say Tom Brady is the GOAT. And I knew, I, I, I mean, I already went in knowing, like, you know, come second half, come fourth quarter, it was going to be the Tom Brady show. And then when him and Gronk finally got, found the rhythm, there was no stopping him for a minute. I was like, oh, my God. That had me, I, I stood almost the whole entire game until that, those few minutes where he was getting, he started to cook. And I sat nervous. And then Brandon Graham came for that grab. Derek Barnett scooped it, and if it wasn't for that, for that, for that, for that little, little, you know, grab of the leg, I think he, could, he probably could have took it. I mean, a few more yards, but he could have, probably went in the end zone with that one. But what a crazy game! And I haven't get, even gotten onto the Eagles yet, but just the way the game was, the atmosphere, and what both teams were fighting for, you know, it was both had major chips on the shoulder. Tom had a chip on his shoulder, being 40 years old and everything. Eagles had a chip in their shoulder for being, you know, dis, uh, being disregarded almost the whole entire season. No one gave them credit for nothing. Under, underdogs throughout the whole entire playoff. To do this, with everything we've been through, you know, we, you know, we we, we lost a, a major major part of our special teams. We lost our running back there in Sproles. We lost our middle linebacker Jordan Hicks. We lost Jason Peters. We lost our, our potential MVP quarterback, Carson Wentz, and to do what we did, you know, we all we got, we all we need. I don't know. Um, but the Eagles, we got our first ring, our first Super Bowl, and it feels good. I mean, I was in shock at first, and I'm gonna tell you right now, like, when it happened, like, I didn't even realize, it, it didn't dawn on me yet the game was over. When, when Brady threw for that final pass in the end zone, and they were bobbing for it, and it dropped it, it took me it took me a few seconds to realize the clock was at zero. I was like, oh, snap, and I just, I, then I, I just, I lost it after that, but it was a state of shock, you know? I mean, great, you know, you, you, you know, Patriots fans and the Patriots, you know, Y'all went all the damn time. So I was sitting back like, eh, it's, we won. It's, it's okay, yeah. We, we won again. But being an Eagles fan, you know, we're used to being slammed as, you know, the losers or whatever you want to call it. You know, we're never going to win. We're never going to do this. Never going to do that. So, yeah, we're used to losing. So, we're like, okay, so every once in a while we get our moment. It's like, it's here. And it's just a state of shock. Even on my personal Facebook, I was, you know, you know commenting on everybody else's posts. And, it, you know, my phone was blowing up. And, with texts and phone calls and stuff like that, and I ended up had to go into my Facebook and just post the status. It was, it was um, still in shock right now. I'll be back. I haven't posted nothing yet, but I, I did something on my Twitter, you know, just to, you know, retweeted a couple, you know, tweets from you know the Eagles and everything else. But and I haven't gotten into in, into to my to my favorite parts of the game and stuff like that, but. Thinking about that, and I say, like, I'm not one of those fans who are 
going to be classes about this shit. I'm not going to be like, you know, my, my fellow fans in Philly tearing down the, the town and tossing cars and setting the place on fire. I'm going to be classy about it, you know. So my congrats to the, the, you know, those who, you know, who are going pound for pound with us. You know, because we could have been on the other side. We could have been the losers. And it would have sucked. <laughs> it definitely would have sucked. But, um, with that said, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, you know, before I get in into my favorite stuff, like, you know, this is our first Super Bowl, and I am so glad it went down the way it went down. For the main reason is, you know, they, you know, they say, and I'm gonna sound cliche when I say it, but in order to be the best, you have to beat the best. And and in the football world, what better way to show you are the best than beating the Patriots on the ultimate stage? There's no, there's no better way. You know, the Giants did it twice. You know, yeah, we won our moment too. No one thought it would be done, but it got done. And then probably in the biggest fashion, and probably which would be the one of the most talked about games ever. I think it was, I think this game was even greater than, the, you know, this, um, the Rams upset when the Patriots, you know, played them. Like it was like that. Like we had, we had the momentum going like in the first half. Like he was getting frustrated, and I think we had it all together. Come second half, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, and Brady got his shit together. Like he was just slinging it, and even though I was prepared for it, and I knew it was coming, I was ready for it, prepared for it. I was, I was still nervous. Like I said, I stood, I stood most of the game, but for those few minutes, I was sitting. I was like, oh boy, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my stomach, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. But. The defense finally came through. You know, the defense on both sides were getting shredded up. Either one, either one had a, had a chance because they were just going for like just for touchdowns and punts, not punts, um, touchdowns and, and field goals. At first, it was getting a little shaky because I figured like you know what, I don't think we're going to win by a field goal because no one's no no one's making anything you know through the uprights. But we finally started pulling through with them, but. Defense wasn't doing anything at the moment on either side, but we finally did it. We finally made it. Brandon Graham, even Chris Long, like even with that play, it was like at first it looked like Chris Long got to him because I, I seen because when I see, seen 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 when I seen the rush, I saw 56 jersey. I didn't see the 55 until the replay, and I and I realized that I'm sorry. I, I'm just trying to lighten something. I'm trying to find some. You know, trying to find something here because I'm going to the store, you know, to get a couple things, but uh, eh, whatever. It is what it is. Here we go. Here's a good spot. Here's a good spot, but uh, it was awesome. It was awesome, but um, let's talk about some favorite plays. Of course, there was the uh, Nick Foles. Touchdown reception, man. It gets no better than that. Um, Pages had a good, had a few good ones. I think if Tom Brady would have caught that pass, it looked like he was, looked like he was all by himself out there in the secondary. He could have just took it all the way. No one actually really knows how fast he really is because he doesn't really have to be mobile because he's always so, he's always so quick to slinging it. But that was probably my favorite play. Nick Foles, you know, catching that. Um, Zach Ertz came through. Blunt came through. Jeffries came through. They, I mean, offense came through. Offense came through, but at the end, the defense came through. Then it came through at the end, but Doug Peterson. You got to give a shout to Doug Peterson because this coaching was just on point the entire game, on point. Like, you're a second-year coach, and then you defeat Bill Belichick in the biggest game ever. I guess no better than that. Also... Give a shout out to Kevin Hart. You dumbass. What were you thinking? Trying to get up on that stage. Drunk as hell. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, I mean, find a replay somewhere, you, you got to look at it because he's sitting there trying to get through and the guard just like, no. Just put his hand on, no. That guard was like twice his size. What, Kevin, what were you thinking? And if if you get a chance, if you don't, if you, on Instagram, check the Instagram video because it, it is funny. Dumbass is drunk and he's just... <laughs> oh... It was great. It was a great night. A great win for the Eagles. 
Um, again, a shout out to the Patriots. Um, you guys are still, you guys are still the best out there. But um, I hope, I know, you know, you guys are gonna come back with a vengeance, and most likely we'll be in the Super Bowl next year. I hope we're there too, because I want to see an Eagles Patriots trilogy. That's what I want to see. Tom, don't quit just yet. Just give us give us another game. I want to see a trilogy before it's all said and done. I I must I, I, I want to kind of say it now. Like I don't care who wins it. I do kind of care, but a trilogy. I mean, it'd be the sweetest thing ever. It would be sweet. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and get some get some goodies and go back home and celebrate some more because I'm starting to feel it now. It's finally starting to set in that we won the Super Bowl. And all the haters out there saying they were never going to do it. I will get to some of y'all later, but you know, to the true Patriots fans out there, I tip my hat to you. You know, for some of you, thanks for keeping it classy. I'm trying to keep it classy right here, right now. But aside, I'm screaming like a little kid because we won. <sighs> but y'all be safe out there. Let me know y'all thoughts. Talk to y'all later.